So in this video, I want to talk about sensitivity. And first, I'm going to throw the mathematical definition up there. Uh, sensitivity of some value or some function y of some variable x is just delta y over y divided by delta x over x. Um, this is, or sorry, this is the definition of sensitivity. Uh, and when I first saw this, I thought this was absolutely disgusting. Um, but I, there's a, it, I think there's a better way of looking at this. Uh, sensitivity is just per, the percentage change in the output or in some function uh, due to a percent change in the input. And so uh, this might seem a little weird at first, but let's just explore it with a couple of different functions. So let's say that we've got y. Uh, let's just say y is linear, linearly related to some variable. So in electrical engineering, this is going to be probably some voltage uh, is dependent on either some resistance or some current. And it might be a nonlinear function, but often it, it is just a simple linear function. So if we just plug in the definition of sensitivity, uh, and if we rearrange this and we change the deltas into a derivatives, uh, we get x over y times the derivative of y with respect to x. Uh, and so if we just plug this in um, into the uh, the definition for sensitivity, so s uh, of y as a function of x is just x over y, and here y is just equal to kx, um, times the derivative of y with respect to x. So that's just k. Uh, so multiplied by k. And so everything cancels here, and we're just left with 1. And so this tells us something really cool, that no matter, no matter what the coefficient is, um, a sensitivity of 1 means the output is linearly related. So the output y is linearly related to input x. And this doesn't have to be inputs and outputs. They can, this can just be any mathematical function. So it can be uh, the voltage is de linearly dependent on the resistance, for example, or the conductance, if you, if you prefer. So a sensitivity of 1 just means that there's this linear relation. What if we've got a quadratic relation? So what if y is equal to some coefficient times x squared? Well, uh, we can just plug in the definition again. So x over y, which is kx squared, uh, times the derivative of this guy, so dy dx. That's just 2kx. So multiply this by 2kx. And you'll notice that everything cancels again, except, oh no, except for the 2. So the sensitivity of any quadratic relationship is 2. And you'll get the same thing for a cubic relationship, a quartic relationship, et cetera, et cetera. So you can think of sensitivity as the, the order of the dependence. So a value of 1 uh, depend, dependence. So a sensitivity of 1 corresponds to a linear relationship, or y equals sum a times x. The cool thing about sensitivity is it's a coefficient independent way and a unit independent way of figuring out what the dependence is or specifying what the dependence is. So sensitivity of 2 is quadratic. So this is some y is equal to some k times x squared. And the k's here don't have to be the same. They, they can be, k can be anything. Uh, similarly, s is equal to 3. This means that the relationship is cubic. Uh, y equals some coefficient times x cubed, and so on and so on and so on. And often we won't get this nice, uh, we won't get a nice number like one or two or three. Sometimes we'll get like 0.8 or 0.2 or 0.1 or 0.001. Um, but you can kind of look at it as, uh, so anything less than one, means that we have less than linear dependence. So less than 1 means we have sublinear dependence. 
it doesn't matter uh, what it is necessarily. Uh, the lower it is, the less linear you could say it is. Um, a sensitivity of zero, a sensitivity of zero just means that y is not a function of x. So if we change x, it will have no effect on y. Uh, sensitivity of one is a linear relationship. And so between zero and one, there's this sublinear region here. And you can have negative sensitivities, so the sensitivity might be negative one, and that just means that this coefficient k, um, this coefficient k is negative. Now the sensitivity itself, um, the sensitivity itself can actually be a function of x and y, um, and that happens when we've got this sublinear dependence. We might end up with not all the x's and y's canceling out uh, pretty. So in that case, we'll say that we need to evaluate this at y is equal to some value of y naught, or uh, x is equal to some value of x naught. So since y is a function of x, then we really, we really just need to say um, x is evaluated at some x naught. And then whether this, uh, whether this set, this number is say one, then that tells us that locally. So if we've got some plot, um, locally, it looks like it's a straight line. Um, or if we've got some rather complicated, uh, rather complicated function, the sensitivity here, uh, we would expect to be equal to one because there's clearly a linear relationship between the value X and the output Y. Oh, that doesn't look like a Y, that looks like an X. Uh, there we go. The, the output or some some function y. So in this region here, um, in this region here, we expect the sensitivity to be one. In this region, we'd expect it to start to fall. Um, in this region, we'd expect it to be greater than one. Um, so in this region, we'd expect it to be less than one. And you can you can look at a, a graph and predict what the sensitivity will be just from this uh, this intuition or this general trend here. Um, so that's, and that's kind of the beauty of sensitivity. Uh, I should add uh, one more here. Uh, S is equal to one half. This means we've got square root dependence on X. Um, so X in general, X to some coefficient, uh, just the relation of Y equals some coefficient K times X to the N will give us a sensitivity equal to N. And so sensitivity is a really awesome way of describing functions because it, uh, we don't need to use coefficients anymore. Uh, if all we're interested in is percentage changes, or if all we're interested in is uh, ratios of changes, then uh, this works just fine. So uh, that concludes the video on sensitivity. I hope you all enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Thanks.